Steven, he always has a stuffy nose or runny nose. And I have this ice cream recipe book, cookbook, and I found in it, the very last page, Influenza Rx Sorbet. Whenever there's really a really severe flu season, we make this good for what ails you sorbet, right? So I decided to make it. It's like a $25 ice cream, <laughs> probably more. But anyway, lots of oranges and lemons, some brandy or whiskey, bourbon, whatever. And, um, some ginger and sugar and stuff that you would normally drink, but we're making it into ice cream. So, um, funny, I read the recipe as two to four ounces of bourbon. So I put two ounces in, almost put three, but then I reread it and it's two to four tablespoons. And an ounce is probably what two to three tablespoons, right? I'm cooking like Julia Childs, cooking like Julia Childs he said. So. Huh? Sorbet, influenza RX sorbet. Oh my gosh! It you smells. Know, I don't know if you can hear him or not. He's being Julia Child. It smells so good. It smells like a sweet brandy bourbon drink. What like So the missing ingredient I'm waiting on is pectin. I don't know why you put the pectin in, but it's in the ingredient list. Pectin is used to jellies. to thicken jams and jellies. And it is powder, this one. I should probably not be showing the brand, but whatever. Anyway, it's powdered, powdered pectin. And the recipe calls for liquid pectin, three ounces. So Stephen is being his brilliant chemist scientist and trying to figure out how much. This doesn't tell you directly. I know. So what he was doing, look at this. He made a calculation. Yeah, but it's totally a calculation. I, I don't know how he figured that out. Like what I would do, he's trying to figure something out. What are you trying to figure something out? I figured how much pectin to use for that recipe. Cause, I know, but how are you figuring out? Well, because you, we couldn't find the liquid pectin. Right. I knew I could do it, but all we could find is the powder. We're trying to figure out the concentration of powder that we need to use. The powder and water. But it's not really telling me any stupid directions. It just tells me how to make... Geo. See, he's a chemist, and baking is chemistry, right? So what I would normally... I would probably do is take my three shot glasses, fill them with water, and sprinkle in some um, pectin to... Um, randomly. And he's trying to figure out the calculation to figure out because he's precise, right? Is that, would that be the right? How many grams of pectin in a packet? We just figured out something. Well, you figured it out. I didn't figure out anything. I've been drinking my wine flavored with orange juice. <laughs> it is a very messy, I mean, that cutting board is messy. Um, I might have to, we might have to lick it up. <laughs> that oranges, those oranges are so good. Organic oranges. He's figuring it out. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think he got it. Oh, here we go. How much dry pectin equals three ounces of liquid pectin? Ah. Oh, that's easy. Look, he Googled it. If recipe calls for three ounces of liquid pectin, how much of the powder do you use? Two okay. tablespoons of powdered pectin is equal, is equal to is equal to three ounces of liquid. Okay. So just so the, the risk of powder is okay. So how do you dissolve it then? So we just put two tablespoons of powdered pectin in with the liquid mixture. Look at that. How easy is that? No calculation needed. Google. I am going to let him research this. We're going to add the pectin to to the bourbon orange juice mixture. Let it cool in the fridge, and then we put it into our ice cream maker. 
and then refreeze it for four hours. So we will probably have influenza sorbet for breakfast. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna stay up for five more hours. <gasps> we'll see. Okay, so we made the influenza sorbet and we're gonna taste it right <laughs> now. The, the drunk. <laughs> You're drunk because you know. Alcohol, that was but we're gonna get better. Well, now that we're not sick anymore. <laughs> it's been sitting for a, a day and a half, two days. Oh, here we go. Okay, here we go. Mm-hmm. Mm. Lemony. What do you think? That's really good. Wow. Mm. That's really good. I don't really taste the brandy. Not that much, you know. It's just it's kind of like last time. <laughs> not like when it was raw yeah, or true. when it was yeah. not frozen. Mmm. That's really good. Yeah. Oh, really, what, what'd you put? How much did you put? How many shots? Two. Oh, so two. <laughs> That's a lot for. Yeah, but it's not like we're feeding it to kids. <laughs> oh, maybe we can. <laughs> <laughs> Calm them down. Mmm. This recipe your mothers can use. Mmm. That one maybe was full of alcohol. Yeah. Mmm. Maybe the alcohol sits at the bottom. Do you think it would drop to the bottom if it's heavy? Well, is it? Usually it floats. It sits down. Al alcohol would float? What would water stand for that? Wow. I might be getting rid of my sniffles. What does it do with a drink? What do you mean? I, I think... think it's <clears throat> vodka and water or something. Or vodka and Coke. Or Coke would change it. Change it quite considerably. I think it... Is it in the bottom? I'm not sure the density. Specifically, I would use I, I ethanol. Specific ethanol. Gravity so. of ethanol. Density. I'm eating ethanol, like gasoline. Yeah. Mm. No. I, yeah, that's ethanol. It's like, no. Um, yeah, they put ethanol in, in, uh, in gasoline. Might be getting drunk. <laughs> it's too much. It's too much. Mmm. It's good, though. That is good. Does it taste like... Does it taste like ice cream or does it taste kind of like flu medicine? Like a, like a lemon, like a lemon, like a throat lodge and lodge. Yeah, that's kind of, yeah, that's, that's what it tastes like. It doesn't taste like ice cream. It tastes like a sherbet. Or... Well, it is a sherbet sure. is what it's called, but so we're, we're eating crushed up throat lozenges. Mm, that's good for us. <laughs> it's interesting though, right? Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. We didn't put the cayenne pepper in here like they had because we couldn't find it. So, all right, it would be more interesting. Mm. It was probably just to be a teeny bit of a kick because there wasn't that much, yeah. but it was sold out at the rep. But yeah, there's there's a there's a aromaticity kind of aromatic. It's yeah, it's like a aromatic kind of feeling in my throat a little bit. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. That's the brandy, right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, yeah, because well, the brandy triple or quadruple of what they said. Mm -hmm. It wasn't cooked out, but I draw, I poured it in the hot mixture, the warm, the hot mixture, and then it cooled down. Well, so it didn't really cooked out. Mm -mm. No, that's what you're supposed to do. So it wasn't cooked out, yeah. but maybe a little bit mm -hmm. because it poured into the hot liquid and then it cooled. I like a frozen drink a little bit too. Mm -hmm. like a lemon drink. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lemon drop isn't. I think I've had one of those. Lemon drop isn't. Um, is more sugary than this. Okay. Um, but it, yes. It, too much it kind of does taste kind of in a way mm -hmm. similar to lemon drop. But lemon drop isn't frozen. You're getting drunk. You're getting drunk. You probably are. You don't drink. Mmm. That's good. Yeah. I think my. Mm, 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got some strong alcohol. Mm, no, lemon no, juice, lemon, citrusy. Oh, citrus. Mm -hmm. I think my my tongue is numb now, though. <laughs> What's, yeah. What's the, what did you put? So we put a pep, um, pep, pectin, pectin. That, that's the, that makes it that consistency. Thick thickness. Yeah. Um, orange juice. Brandy. Lemon juice. Lemon juice. Brandy. Sugar. That's it. Yeah. I think so. Okay. Wow. Yeah, it tastes interesting. Mmm. Just like a. Mmm, that's good though, huh? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. But just you just need a spoonful though. Yeah, just no it's way not, no, no, not no. something to eat no, like no, just, yeah. like a, a scoopful. No, uh -uh. no. I feel tired. Now. You're drunk. Yeah. <laughs> good. All right. I'm just tired. Bye, Ozos. <laughs>